The default reports in Google Analytics help you monitor key business metrics. But Google Analytics has another great tool for even deeper analysis called Explore. Explore is a collection of advanced analysis techniques that go beyond standard reports to uncover more insights about customer behavior. Explorations, which are the reports you can build within Explore, give you access to data and analytical techniques that aren't available in standard reports, such as funnels and pathing. You can use Explorations to explore data in depth and answer complex questions. Explore can help you to do things like quickly perform ad hoc queries, easily configure and switch between techniques, sort, refine, and drill down into the data, focus on the most relevant data by using things like filters, segments, and breakdowns, and create segments and audiences. Let's start by showing you around. Click Explore in the main left nav. You'll have the option to start a new exploration from scratch or a template or open in an existing report. Let's open the freeform report template. You'll see three distinct areas from left to right. First, you have the variables pane. This panel gives you access to the dimensions, metrics, and segments that you can use in an exploration. You can also change the timeframe of the exploration here and give it a name. Next, you have the tab settings pane. Use this panel to configure the whiteboard area on the canvas. You can select the technique, add items from the variables panel, and configure technique-specific options. We'll come back to techniques in just a moment. You can also use this tab to compare segments, select breakdowns and values, and apply filters. And finally, the canvas, which is this large area that displays all of your data. The canvas can have multiple tabs, letting you use multiple techniques in a single exploration. Let's click the Explore button to return to the main exploration page so we can review the various techniques that are available. First is the freeform exploration. This technique gives you the freedom to explore your data with several different types of visualization styles, including tables, bar charts, pie charts, line charts, scatter plots, and geo maps. The funnel exploration will help you visualize the steps users take to complete tasks on your site or your app and see how you can optimize the user experience and identify over or underperforming audiences. The path exploration will help you visualize the paths that users take as they interact with your website or your app. The segment overlap report shows you how different user segments relate to each other. You can use this technique to identify new segments of users who meet complex criteria. The cohort exploration helps you look at the behavior and performance of groups of users related by common attributes. And the user lifetime technique allows you to explore user behavior and value over their lifetime as a customer. You also have the option to start from a blank template, which will open up an exploration with nothing populated in the variables or the tab settings pane. It's a blank canvas to build from. Let's dive in and create an exploration together. To start, you can create an exploration from a blank canvas or from a template. Let's choose the blank exploration. When you land in a blank exploration, everything will appear empty. This is as expected. Let's start by adding some dimensions and metrics to the variables pane so we have something to work with. Click the plus icon next to dimensions to add some dimensions to the variables pane. This will open a slide out list of all of the dimensions available in Explore. Let's add page path and screen class, device category, and session source medium, and then hit import. This isn't an exhaustive list of the dimensions we may want to use, but these are some pretty typical dimensions that you may end up using, and you can always add more later if needed. Next, we'll want to add some metrics. Click the plus icon next to metrics to add some to the variables pane. Again, this will open up a slide out with all of the metrics available in Explore. Let's add views, sessions, and active users, and then hit import. Again, this list isn't exhaustive, but it's a good starting point for the dimensions that we've chosen, and you can always add more later if needed. To build a report, you'll need to double click or drag and drop dimensions and metrics from the variables pane to the tab settings pane. For this example, 
Let's add page path and screen class as the dimension and views, sessions, and active users as the metrics. You can quickly add these by double clicking the tile for each. This will result in a simple table on the canvas. Next, let's break down this report by adding the device category dimension. If we double click the dimension name, it will be added to the rows area of the tab settings pane and we'll break down each row by the device used. This is the same behavior as if you added a secondary dimension in a standard report in the reporting UI. For another view of this data, you can add the device category dimension to the column section of the tab settings pane. To do this, drag and drop the tile for device category to the column section. This will create a new column for each device category, which shows the breakdown of views, sessions, and active users for each category. Note that this is a more consolidated view of this data than if we had added the device category dimension to the row section. And for dimensions with only a few values, such as device category, it may be a better way to view your data. Next, let's explore the filter functionality. To add a filter, scroll to the bottom of the tab settings pane and click into the dashed box to drag or select a dimension or metric. For this example, Let's create a filter for the session source medium exactly matches Google Organic and hit apply. This will filter all of the data in the report to only include data that has a session source medium of Google Organic. Lastly, let's explore the segments functionality. To create a new segment, hit the plus icon next to segments in the variables pane. This will open up the segment builder where you can choose from suggested segments, such as recently active users or purchasers, predictive segments, such as likely seven-day purchasers, create a segment from a template, such as demographics or technology, or create a custom segment from scratch. Let's choose the demographics template to quickly create a segment for country ID exactly matches US. Give this segment a name of US traffic and hit save and apply. This will segment the data in our report to only show us data that matches a country ID of US. 